Hi, I'm Michael LaFosse, and this is a leopard seal. I've made an adjustment at the back here uh, in the traditional seal so that you don't need scissors to make the tail end. You're going to need a square piece of paper, and if you're using origami paper, begin with the white side up. Fold in half, corner to corner, to make a colored triangle. And open. Rotate the paper so that you can fold the paper in half, corner to corner, the other way and open. There's the center. X marks the spot. Bring the bottom corner to the center and make a pinch mark like this. Take the same bottom corner to the pinch mark and fold all the way across. Let's go to the other end. We're going to do a similar thing but just a little bit smaller triangle. To the center first, pinch mark. To, this, to the new pinch mark and make yet another pinch mark. And finally, bottom corner to the bottom most pinch mark. Rotate the paper so that the large triangle is on your right. Take the bottom right edge and fold it to the crease. Unfold. Fold the bottom left edge to the crease. And unfold. Let's do the same thing on the opposite side. Bottom left edge to the crease. Unfold. Bottom right edge to the crease. Unfold. What we're about to do is make what we call, in origami, a rabbit ear. Look at the bottom corner as I fold it in half. Color on the outside. I'm using the long creases to be able to place that flat. Push the point towards the end of the model that has the larger of the two triangles. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Fold in, make your rabbit ear, and fold so that it points the same way as your first rabbit ear. Now, turn the paper over and fold in half lengthwise. We're going to go make that neat little tail. Normally you'd have to use a scissor cut back here, but I've created a way of doing the shape without the scissor cut. Fold up this bit and then you'll be able to open back here. You see how I'm opening like a cone and flatten. You'll see a triangle shape with these ears on the side. Flip the paper over to the other side and like closing a book, fold the shape in half. Now, set those two halves out to each side, bend them in the middle the other way, and notice the middle of this V notch. I'm going to bend this edge in and crease each half to follow the shape of the outside folded edge. So there we have the finished tail flippers. Let's go to the front now and begin to make the neck and the head. Fold the front portion straight up so that the long edge aligns right through that corner at the top. Unfold and bend exactly the other way. We're just trying to make that flexible because what we're about to do is to take this portion and push it inside like this so that we have the neck coming through the middle of the body. That's called an inside reverse fold, like that. Notice this crease. We're going to bring this long folded edge of the front flipper over to align with the crease. And you can fold up the bottom corner to make a folded edge that aligns with the bottom edge of the body. You See how that bends? Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Find your crease, bring the edge forward, and fold. Now fold up that flipper. For the head, we're going to do an inside reverse fold, so we're going to open from the front so that we can flatten the head 
bending it down, the amount that you choose and the angle is up to you. Whatever looks fine to you is going to be fine and flat. And there we have the finished leopard seal. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for folding with me.